Hello guys, welcome to FM 2018 and another team guide. Today we are looking at AC Milan, but after summer update, after summer transfers, so you can expect the same team in FM 2019. Okay, we are going to check training facilities, finances, team dynamics, best players and of course, what kind of tactic best suits to this team. So let's start from the training facilities. Okay, so we see that facilities are really good. Training facilities are 19, youth facilities 17, junior coaching 14, youth recruitment 16, and corporate facilities 16. Maybe you should invest a little bit in youth recruitment. You can get that to the maximum. Okay, now let's check finances. And we see that finances are really great. Transfer budget 56 millions. Wage budget, we are spending a little bit more than uh, we have in our wage budget, but that's not a problem. We always can make a budget adjustment. Yeah, we can always do some other things like this. Yeah. Okay, now let's check team dynamics. So we see that team leaders are Ignazio Abate, 30 years old Italian fullback, really interesting player, very fast player. Then Lucas Biglia. Great deep line playmaker, Argentinian deep line playmaker, 31 years old, really nice technical attributes. Then Ricardo Montolivo. So these players have really big influence, and you can't sell all of them. Okay, uh, now let's check all the players and let's see their current and potential abilities. So we see that the best player right now is Gonzalo Higuain. His current ability 178, really fantastic striker. He came on loan from Juventus. And there is an optional uh, future fee, so you can get him for 35 million. In real life, that's a little bit lower, I'm sure. Okay, uh, the next player, Lucas Biglia. Uh, current ability 155. We spoke about him. He's one of the team leaders and really great deep line playmaker. Next one, Giacomo Bonaventura. Current ability 153. Then Suso. Great inside forward and very young player, so you should keep him for sure. Great technique. Uh, then uh, the best goalkeeper in the world right now, if you're asking me, Gianluigi Donnarumma, only 18 years old, incredible current ability, 151, but potential ability, 190, that's a really perfect, so still can improve a lot, and don't forget he's only 18 years old. Okay, uh, now let's check players with the highest potential ability. And that's, of course, Gianluigi Donnarumma. The next one is, uh, we won't speak about Gonzalo Guin because he already reached his full potential. Uh, Alessio Romagnoli, really interesting central defender. Uh, really nice attributes and also very nice potential, 170. He still can improve a lot. Then Matteo Caldara also came from Juventus. Another great kid, very interesting player. So we have really young pair of CBs, future of AC Milan. Then we have this player, Frank, uh, who is on loan from Atalanta, but actually he will join uh, permanently. Also very nice, CM. Uh, Dan Bakayoko, not bad potential. Okay, there are a couple of players, very old players, and players with a uh, low current ability, and you should try to sell them. Um, you, you really don't have place for them because you have a lot of young talents, you have a lot of great players with a nice potential, so you should try to sell all these older players with a low current ability and with a low potential. Okay, now let's check under 20 squad. And as I said before, we have a lot of great players with a great potential. One of them, Andre Silva, uh, 21 years old, playing on loan at Sevilla, really great potential. Then another goalkeeper, Alessandro Pizzari, uh, Pizzari yeah. very young, 17 years old, great potential, 166. Um, there is another central defender, Axel Campeol. And we see a lot of players with a nice potential. So maybe you can risk and you can sell all the old players and you should give chance to these young players. And in five years you're going to have a really unstoppable team. Okay, uh, now let's check under 19. And there is one, another goalkeeper with a nice potential, Matteo Sonsin. A uh, really nice keeper. So we see that Milan is producing a lot of great goalkeepers with a great potential. Okay, now let's check the tactics and let's see what kind of formation I would play, yeah. 
Okay, I would play in this kind of formation and this would be my first team, of course, in attack. Gonzalo is going really great advanced forward. Then, pair of inside forwards. Bonaventura on the left side, on the right side, Suso. Uh, Bakayoko as Carrilero, deep line playmaker, Biglia and Frank as Mezala. Really interesting attack, really interesting midfield, really great players. Then wing back, Rodriguez. A pair of CBs, very young CBs with a great potential, Romagnoli and Caldara. And fullback attacking duty, Conti. Then on the goal, Donnarumma, of course. I would use some uh, control or attacking mentality, very fluid or fluid. Yeah, that, that could work with this team. I mean, any kind of tactic uh, can work with this great team. If you're asking me, you don't need a new player. You have so many talented players with a great potential, so don't buy new players. Just try to sell some of, of, the, of the old players with a low potential. Uh, and don't forget about players like Nikola Kalinic. He can be a really good sub for uh, Higuain. Then uh, there is this uh, interesting 21 years old Croatian, uh, Alan Halilovic, also very interesting player. Matteo, another great central defender. Then we have Fabio Borini, Abate, a lot of great players, really. Okay, guys, this was my mini guide for one of the best clubs in Italy, AC Milan. I hope that you really enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you and bye-bye.